On June 7th of 2019, the University of Florida made history breaking the 4 by 100 meter relay record with a time of 37.97 seconds. This is the first and only time that an NCAA team ran under 38 seconds for the 4x1. However, what we just saw in the SEC Championships showcased not just one, but two sub-38 second 4x100 relays. For this race, we saw LSU and the University of Florida battle all the way to the finish, but ultimately, it was LSU who took the victory with a new collegiate record of 37.90 seconds. This comes out to an average time of under 9.5 seconds per each 100 meters, and it does certainly help that they're getting a running start here, but still, this is flying, and from Brandon Hicklin's opening leg, to Dorian Camille's masterclass in the second leg, to Demarcus Fleming showcasing amazing speed around the back stretch, to Godson Aginabrume, again, throwing down an amazing anchor leg, this 37.9 would have been fast enough to place fourth in last year's World Championships, and would have fallen less than a tenth of a second away from winning a global championship medal. Considering that this is just the regional championship race, I can't help but think that LSU and Florida are going to run much faster come the NCAA Finals. And even more intriguing is the fact that both teams have athletes that are going to run finals in just a few hours. So stay tuned, get excited, and shout out to LSU for a new collegiate record in the men's 4x100 meters. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.